This one is called Isekai Manga is Safe from Kito Senpai. What's he gonna talk about? Maybe Isekai Shikaku, which is one of my favorite Isekais happening this season. Let's see what he has to say. Isekai Manga is Saved. That may or may not be the title of this video. Now, whether this Isekai Manga actually lives up to expectation or is an absolute flop, I'll let you guys decide that for yourselves. But okay. I don't think any of us are strangers to the fact that, or well, if you have been watching anime long enough, that the amount of Isekai anime just keep growing every- yeah. <laughs> What should they? This is not Isekai, but obviously he's just showing you the chart of like, you know, summer 2024. And yes, Isekai is just the most scalable, the most mass produced slop garbage. There are some gems, right? But at the same time, the law of big numbers, there's so many. If there's so many Isekais, then there's bound to be so much shit ones as well. Every season. And that's just anime. The amount of manga, webcomics, manhwa, light novels, web novels that are being pumped out on a daily basis puts your average pump and dump crypto pyramid schemes to shame. Anything you can think of probably already exists as an isekai story. To the point that you get titles like this that pretty much sum up the. Me, a genius, I was reborn into another world and I think I got they've got the wrong idea. Um, there's a brand new, uh, Oji san villainous. Isekai Otome. Uh, do I have this? Where is this? Yes, this, this. Have you guys seen news of this shit? This cover. I saw this and I'm like, no. Are you tell me it's a villainous like game where uh, a salary man, a boomer, dies or gets reincarnated into an Otome game but is reborn as a fucking drill, you know, the villainous role. This looks fucking hilarious. It's like, I'm for sure gonna watch that. Entire story and make you question your existence, but just how- Wait, what is this title? I've been killing slimes for 300 years and maxed out my level. Basically, Exploration Hero 2. And make you question your existence, but just how long they are. Like The dirty way to destroy the goddesses' heroes. Oh, I like that! Any, I, I, I like these, you know, the different twists where it's no longer, you know, fighting just a demon lord, but the goddess is the evil one, and, you know, we're shitting on the shitty isekai heroes that's been born. I mean, that's kind of basically failure frame, and kind of isekai shikaku, kind of. Like this. All right, let me take a breather. Backstab in a... <laughs> what is this shit? Backwater dungeon. My party tried to kill me, but thanks to an infinite gacha, I got level 9,999 friends. The official title is even longer. There's this, just this meta of making the titles for light novels or manga regarding these shows to be just as long as fucking possible. It's a whole ass essay as a title. What in tarnation? We got Isekai about time loops with them. Ooh, ReZero, Mushoku Tensei, Tensero maybe? Slime. Yeah! Cautious Hero next! Yo, this guy's based. He put obviously ReZero. I'm, I'm, actually, shouldn't Overlord be here? Right? I think in terms of... And I've only seen Tensura and, Re and Mushoku Tensei from these, but I hear that ReZero is like the Isekai of all Isekais. But Overlord is also very strong, right? And you got these as top three, and then Bro puts Cautious Hero next to it, based, and then Eminence in Shadow! Super based, super based. And I haven't seen this one. My next life as a villain is. Oji san Isekai was actually pretty good. This is Uncle Isekai Oji san was actually pretty good. It's just that fucking, you know, the. Production value and the scheduling ruined everything. Shield Hero season one was good. I hear season three was good. Shields, gates, being a healer class. Redo second season confirmed. Healing magic, second season confirmed. Uh, this is redo of healer. Doing things as a healer class. Getting kicked out of a party. A goddamn vending machine. The vending machine was actually good. I don't want to hear slander about my vending machine isekai, bro. It's a genuinely good slice of life fun show to just watch back and chill out to. It is a hot spring and my personal favorite. Yeah, reincarnate as a hot spring. One of these days, reincarnate as a hot spring will show up. Getting transported to a world where there are no males and girls get instantly turned on simply by being near a man. I the meal ended without an... <laughs> Well, gee, I wonder who they're marketing this garbage towards. I need to know what these Japanese authors are taking because they're cooking. And ironically, I know it's easy for longtime anime watchers to get tired of these, but I like to think at the end of the day that these overridden isekai stories are someone's first anime or manga or light novel. That's crazy. That's crazy.
Yeah, nothing better to do than introduce your new friend who's brand new to anime to an anime where the Shota has a BBL. The main character is like a nine-year-old kid who is more thick than every other girl in the show. Yep, I'm sure they're gonna take anime seriously after that. For good or bad, and they wholeheartedly enjoyed it. I mean, the genre is popular for a reason, right? It's like that one saying, one man's garbage is another man's treasure. Sure. I mean, look at this guy. Dude's been making Animanga videos for years, and he's... Is this Gigguk? This is not Kitos, this is Gigguk, right? Still finds Isekai dumpster fires to enjoy somehow. Gigguk is washed. Hot take. I'm gonna say it right now. I think Gigguk's out of touch with the actual anime enjoyers. I think that he's treating this as a job, not a labor of passion, but something he needs to do. Watching everything 2x speed, barely understanding the story, then giving surface level takes on those videos. And yes, they're going to get a lot of views, but those tier lists, I've seen those tier lists, and I've seen the logic to get those ratings in those tier lists. Nope. Giga Gouache, bro. Fake anime fan. I'm saying it. Mm-hmm. I'm saying it, bro. Fake anime fan. And here I am, because for once, I'm happy, man. Because the author wasn't just cooking. He exploded the whole damn kitchen. I honestly thought it would be a while where I pick up a new series in this genre and actually appreciate it for doing something new, trying something new. And yeah, this series did nothing short of that, but it also somehow takes a bunch of these isekai tropes, mushes them, beats them together, and parodies it all into this one story. So he's really, really hyping up this isekai right now. I've, I don't know who this main character is, but like the amount of glaze for this isekai and the amount of views that this video got eh, four weeks ago, it better be fucking good. Wait, there, I couldn't stop reading. Something I did not expect from a generic looking cover like this. Not yeah, main character with black hair and an elf fucking female protag. Wow. It's just basically failure frame. To mention a generic looking start with a generic looking MC in the first few pages. That baits yeah. you completely into thinking, oh, hey, this will be your everyday run of the mill. I got kicked out of the hero's party. And for the sake of revenge fantasy, I'll become edgy and overpowered and show them who's the real boss. This I actually love that formula though. Like anything where you're bullied or you got left behind, you got kicked from the hero's party. Then you get OP and you flex on him. Like, I do enjoy that cliche. Sigma grind set and whatnot. Looks maxing. Pfft. Isekai maxing is where it's at. But no, right. give me a moment to convince you. Let's start at the beginning. It follows this guy, Ed. If the Kyoto look wasn't obvious, he's the main character. Bro's just being nonchalant. And the manga starting straight off the bat with his party members telling him, Hey dude, you know what? We're gonna be real with you. We're homies, but you're kind of useless and dragging us down. You're kicked out of the party. And just Yikes. like Ed's party members were like, what the heck? Utterly surprised because Ed's reaction isn't that of sadness, feeling better. Trade. He wanted fact, to get the other fired. Way around. He's so happy, filled with excitement, even cheering. With a system prompt appearing in only Ed's point of view, kind of like Sung Jin Woo from Solo Leveling. Erect. <laughs> I don't remember that. I think it was alright, not erect. But the whole premise of this is he's in a party to slay the demon lord. He gets kicked out, and then now he's super happy. And now the system is also saying you have, you know, qualify for the conditions to get your OP power now. Erect. Erect. That system prompt saying the condition has been met. And this is where I realized, you know what? I might be reading something fresh and interesting for once. Because the story after that takes a completely different turn. It turns okay. out Ed has a bunch of these hidden abilities, seemingly like a different dimension of storage, where he pulls out all these guides he made for his current party that kicked him out just now, as a way okay. of even thanking them before he leaves. To which they're like, yo, did we just make a mistake kicking the secretly Giga Chat Kyoto looking person? This girl is so hot. Oh. Dude, the MILF wizard girls, I love them so much. And from here on is where we learn Ed's real backstory. As he gets what? transmigrated to the place that started everything for him. It <gasps> turns out Ed's goal was to get kicked out of the party this whole time. In fact, this wasn't his first time. Not even- That's a pretty interesting twist, right? Because so far, again, all these revenge isekai anime starts off with you getting kicked out and feeling sense of betrayal. But this one, he's like, nah, I want to get kicked out. Even the second, or even the third, not even close. This was his hundredth time. A long and painful journey that that this mysteriously godly figure that we don't even know what he looks like, not even Ed knows what he looks like, has sent Ed on after summoning him to this strange place where there's basically nothing. Just two chairs and a book on this table, and a random door just standing there, picking up the book to find instructions on how he can finally get back to his world. So let's get those requirements out of the way. His task is to go through a door, bond with and get accepted to the hero's party, and adventure with the hero of that world for at least half a year and then get kicked out. And every time with the countdown, he will return to the place he has summoned, and next to the door he just got back from a new door will appear till he does this over and over again for 100 different worlds oh yeah i almost forgot he, he needs to do this shit a hundred fucking times 
Why? To hit some kind of pity? He cannot revisit any of the doors he previously opened. And yes, you might be wondering, wouldn't he be over 100 years old then? How does he not age? Well, great question, my Padawan. Well, with each return, his age just resets along with his physique, whether he becomes... And if you train, you'll gain muscle. If you eat too much, you'll gain weight. So, like, everything resets. Okay. Zeke, whether he becomes a buff gym bro or pre-reincarnation Rudius from Mushoko Tensei. But he also gets a secret skill each time. And after his long and painful 100 journey, gaining a one-time special ability that I won't tell you about yet, just remember that he got one. And yeah, That's pretty cool, huh? So you do that 100 times, get kicked out. That's a lot of time investment put in. Obviously, you can't really say he's just OP for no reason, right? There's a lot of trial and tribulations that he had to go through to kind of, I guess, earn the powers. After being back from his 100 trip, also realizing the door back to his own world also finally spawned. At last, he's able to go home after all this time. Or not, because turns out the door is locked. For some reason, the god in the story is a huge troll. Aside from never really speaking to him directly, he doesn't even let him pass through the door. To communicate okay. with him, he literally throws books at him. And this time also dropping a key. That's pretty funny. <laughs> He just throws the fucking manual. Come on, skill issue. I don't got time to explain shit. Figure it out, bro. And this time also dropping a key. With instructions saying that he must use it to revisit one of the previous worlds he left behind. And only then, once he returns, the door back to his own world will open. And this, this moment right here. If you thought the premise was insane already, it just gets it's crazy good. from here. Feeling nostalgic, Ed just chooses the very first world he visited back when he was a newbie. And had to try really hard to join the hero's party. Basically when he started from zero. In high hopes that it would be a breeze, opening the so it's the same world, right? So it's the same shit. I'm not sure where the timeline is. Even the Demon King should have been defeated by now. So in the future. But now we can flex on the people that betrayed us, maybe? When he started from zero. In high hopes that it would be a breeze, opening the door, quickly checking out the world, which the hero's party that he was once a part of defeated the Demon Lord and okay. returning to take the door back to his own world. Or so he thought because plot twist, Whoa. walking through that door only to see- Demon Lord 1 the entire world in rubbles, destroyed and roaming around with the demon lord's army. All the right. entire hero's team dead, except for one party member. This elf better be- ugh. I hope that- I was gonna hope that it was the, uh, the busty with uh, sorceress girl, but hey, I'll take the elf girl. Me. The entire hero's team dead, except for one party member. This elf girl right here. Oh hey look, we got an elf Hello. girl. We have been blessed. She may or may not have been the reason that I started reading this story. Because Tia here is best girl. But sadly, even then, Tia's fate no! ends up being tragic. The best girl title was in fact not enough to save her. Which I'll let you guys find out for yourself. Let me just warn you, it gets quite emotional. And quite frankly, I did not expect it to hit as hard as it did. Man, you're gonna give me an actual sob story, bro. I just wanted some isekai garbage to have fun and, you know, laugh at. And Ed, despite being so desperate to go home after 100 years, finally reunite with his actual family. Remember how I said he got a one-time ability? ka yeah. Using that one-time ability to grant him one miracle. One wish to save start her? all the way from the beginning. To save her. Hey, it's ReZero. A crazy premise, I know. Really makes you question if this mysterious god figure that never really presents itself knew that's what Ed would exactly do. Or how simply the lack of Ed's presence in the world is what causes the hero's party's demise. Even if it's for the simplest of reasons, like being someone that just carries the party's items. <laughs> Yo, hero. The strongest luggage carrier. <laughs> that should be a talking isekai in itself, bro. The strongest luggage carrier. Literally being their luggage holder. Which is ironic because this whole time his requirement was to try and get kicked out of those parties. <laughs> and it's following Ed's second round in the story of how he manipulates and plans everything to make things right this time around. And yes, he's overpowered, but trust me when I tell you it does not feel like a power fantasy at all. It feels more- Well, I'm dropping this shit then. The fuck? I need my power fantasy! More like a strategy story and trying to find the best possible option with a second chance. Why? Alright, alright. He's gonna be like a big brain guy. I can take that. No, this looks pretty good. While enjoying the dynamic between party members with these strange and quirky characters that honestly I grew to love. And it feels like the story won't actually drag on. There's obviously a bigger mystery or narrative at play since we barely know why Ed was summoned there in the first place. Or why the god won't show himself to Ed. I feel like there's a bigger plot twist here that the author is cooking up. Or maybe I'm just speculating too much. Anyways, I think just give this manga six or seven chapters. I think that's when it no, I think that so far, this whole pitch on this isekai manga that I don't even know what the fucking name is, no, it's way too fucking long. It's pretty decent, and I am definitely down to watch this if it ever gets animated. But like, 
When is the anime ever fucking coming? Maybe in like two years. It really starts to pick up. But so far, I like it. A solid example of the story making you think and ask so many questions. Oh, and also Elf Girl. But putting that aside, this man has some of the coldest panels in the story. And the art style really does it justice. It does look Random really good. bursts of color here and there. So if you are looking for a new isekai manga or story with a unique concept, but also parodies a lot of tropes like overpowered MC, crazy fight scenes or panels, gates, getting kicked out of the party, or if you want a story that doesn't feel like it drags on, fun characters, nice mystery, nice Elf Girl, do try Suihosaru Tabini Skiru wo Teni Yuri to Ore ga Yakumi Sete de Nisho me Muso Or I got a new skill every time I was exiled and after 100 different worlds I was unmatched A uh, classic isekai title Also well, you know, being an anime reaction channel, I can't fucking go out and read mangas or light novels anymore because, you know, I gotta be blind reactions. But hey, you guys can go check this one out. I feel like the people that enjoyed this other isekai story, the Eminem and Shadow, would also- Hey! That's a pretty good one. <laughs> isekai what? title. I also feel like the people that enjoyed this other isekai story, the Eminem and Shadow, yeah, would also I love really it. enjoy this story. And yeah, that's about it as always. Thanks for watching. Hopefully- That was a pretty good pitch. Now, I, it's only 16 chapters right now. Well, uh, it is what it is. But hey, go check it out. And hey, go give Mr. Kito Senpai a sub. Like his videos if you did. That was a pretty decent pitch on like this isekai manga that may be animated one of these days. But not enough chapters right now. But you guys can check it out. I'll see you on the next one.